YouTubers, good morning. Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Thank you today. Thank you for watching. Today is Wednesday. Today is hump day. Guys, don't forget to join me tonight for trends in the housing market where we're going to go over every English speaking country and the trends. Australia lowering rates. They've done it. They've lowered rates. I think it's from one and a half to one and a quarter percent and it's not going to look good. Stealing people's futures away. Every time you lower rates, you keep stealing away our futures. Right? The banks always have something lined up uh, in favor, uh, in favor, so they don't end up having major, major defaults on their hands. Government doesn't have the money to bail them out this time, so it's going to be really interesting to see where things are headed. Ah, oh, stagflation, inflation period. Wages aren't going nearly up where they should be. It's going to be a very interesting bumpy ride. Anyways, guys, so let's start off um, um, morning coffee with Mike here. Um, windows. I got my windows being delivered tomorrow. Actually, I actually have 13 windows being delivered. I already got the first wave done and installed. Now, I've got 13 more windows coming in tomorrow morning. Now, the lady calls me to give me a heads up to let me know it's coming tomorrow and that... Um, there's only curbside delivery that he's not allowed to come on the property and help me put it in the garage. Okay, fair enough. She's giving me a warning. All right, ma'am, can you please tell me uh, what time he's going to be here so I can arrange for people to be here? Like, I could maybe make a few phone calls to see who could be there for me to help me move this into my garage because some of these windows are pretty heavy. I do not know that. Okay, could the driver call me and let me know so I could arrange uh, 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 people to help me? Uh, yes, he will call you 10 minutes uh, while he's out, 10 minutes uh, upon delivery. 10 minutes is not going to give me enough time to get people to help me move it into the garage. Well, sir, unfortunately, uh, our insurance or whatever, is, it's going to be curbside, so it's going to be on the street. Oh, luckily tomorrow's not garbage day, so I don't have to worry about that. So it's on the street. This is going to be very interesting tomorrow. Very interesting. Wow. Anyways, so on to other things. Project House, but Project House coming along real well. I'll do a video for you guys to show me, show you the entrance I've been working on for a good while now. My mom's been helping too with the stair rail and doing a lot of work too on the stairs. And um, yeah, so the contractor's gonna quite, got a, quite a bit of work ahead of him today. So what else is going on? Okay, so the building. All right, remember? Okay, let me tell you the story about the, I was gonna buy a commercial building for my retail store. Okay. I set up the commercial, I, I, I called, the, the building is the food bank here in town, so I called uh, to, to my real estate agent to go ahead and lay a deal, we laid a deal, they got back to us and said that it was too low, so they wanted, they wanted um, uh, 140, so I agreed on the deal, I agreed on 140, I went ahead and said okay, agree, I filled out all the paperwork, we sent everything in to comply with their counter offer and everything was good. And then, boom, real estate agent jumps in. Hey, by the way, I can get you more money for that. Don't sell it for that low. Boom. Calls me, uh, your counter offer that you, you know that you sent in, that they counter offered you and you agreed on, they've actually declined that. They want more money. Beep, 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 beep. I walk away. With all the hidden costs in this city, all the hidden costs with garbage pickup, even though you don't have a garbage can. Watch that video. Watch garbage. Uh, do not open a business in a small city. I might, might leave it at the end of the video if I remember. So, in a small town, yeah. So, what happened was, like, there's all these little hidden fees here in this town. And if we want to do cosmetic repairs or painting, it's going to cost all this. And you, you got to watch out with these small towns because they're looking to get what they can from you. So, what I did was... I, I, I took that money and I put it into dividend stock. Now I'm investing in dividend stocks. I'm investing in dividend stocks because last... Uh, so on average, I'm making about... What the... Uh, so I ended up saving the money. So what it is, I ended up saving the money to buy the building. To, to actually pay for it free and clear. Because I am business for self in Canada. And if you're business for self, you're garbage. 
And I even own my house free and clear. So they wouldn't even do nothing for me. Okay, no problem. So I saved the money myself. Sent in the counter offer, they declined it. I was gonna pay them in cash. No problem. Yeah, no problem. They wanted more money. I told them to get lost. So now, I put my money in dividend stocks. And I'm, I'm uh, fat dividends. And uh, with that 140, I'm getting back, I don't know, 940 to $1,000 a month in dividend payouts. Uh, per quarter is obviously more. Some, some dividend stocks that I have pay per quarter and some pay monthly. And that's it. I just watch the dividends. I don't even care if the stock goes down. I think I'm down $2,800 today uh, in my um, portfolio. I don't even care. I already made that back in my collecting dividends from the stocks. What do I care? It's been trickle. So it trickles in. So when it comes in, it just re reinvests the money for me so it keeps growing. In seven years at those interest rates, all my stocks should double in seven years at the interest at the dividends they're they're paying out so and if i see the dividends start to drop or i start seeing no confidence in the company i just move the money out and the next day find another company to invest in that's paying a fat dividends that's it so i rather have that uh, steady stream of income so this way if i do uh, have to move the business home just to sell from home which i do very well guys selling from home so if i have to move the business home is fine, I got lots of space at home, and uh, I don't have to worry. So I can move the business home and run it out of there, and then the loss of the stream of income from the store, because I have four streams of income. Everyone needs to have about four streams of income. So if I lose that stream of income, Hi there, Pam. Hi, can I get an extra large dark roast with uh, one cream? With one cream? Sure. Yes. Thank you. Did you want to round up to three dollars for camp day today? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Please drop out. Yeah. Today's camp day today. They got a posting there. So sure, I'm gonna round it up. Anyways, what was I saying? What was I saying? E guys. Yeah. So I'm getting the dividends off that. So I'm not. I'm not worried, guys. I don't care. Uh, so I would rather do that than have to invest in the city and this and then pay property tax. Property tax is not a lot. It's like under. It's like around a grand a year, but still. I'm getting older, I'm 41, I'm gonna be 42 next year, so it's time to start to diversify my incomes. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing today? Hi, good morning. Good. Happy camp day. Happy camp day, thank Do you. you. like a sleeve? A condom? No, it's okay, I'll have it like this. <laughs> You've got it? How's your right. shop going? All right. Huh? How's your shop going? Oh, I'm so busy. Yeah, good yeah. for you. Thank you guys, have a good one, bye. Good one. Wow. Everyone's so nice here. Man, this is... How's your shop going, Mike? Yeah, I saw, the other day, I saw your kids the other day. They're so cute. Oh, Yeah, so business from home is doing well. I'm not worried. I'm not preoccupied. Um, streams of income is very important. Um, having multiple streams. They don't have to be gigantic or ginormous. You know, uh, if I need a fifth stream, I could always Airbnb one of my... I could always rent out because my house, the house I'm in that I bought... Is like set up as a ten bedroom. It's 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 crazy. There was actually two suites in my house. It was two suites, and and the guy that lived there. So there was three suites. It would be three total suites if I was to do that. So if I ever really get tight for income, I could always add an extra stream of income. You know, uh, so there's you always have to find m major streams. And how have I done this, guys? How have I done this? And how I've achieved what I wanted to achieve in life? And it's very simple. And I'll explain to you. It's been done by no debt. Not carrying any debt. Not carrying any debt whatsoever. And disposable income. Disposable income allowed me to dabble in the marijuana market uh, back in the day. To dabble all this disposable income me thinking it's going to be the next big thing and it was disposable income allowed me to do so much I never put myself in debt I never bought a two million dollar detached bungalow in Vancouver for two million dollars because I know it's not worth that much my, my cars I own free and clear so all I have at my door is property tax which I got in the mail the other day 
I'm gonna pay that property tax, car insurance, cell phone bill for me and my wife, which is $90 a, a month. Cell phone bill, car insurance. My car insurance is 900 a year here because I live in a small town. So every little angle has been worked out and it kind of fell into place. I kind of didn't really look at the books. I just let it go, go with the flow. So you guys need to start, a lot of people out there need to start paying down their debts and start creating wealth. I know it's tough. I did it. I made some of the right, and I married the right woman too. So my wife has no debt. And she, when we got together, she actually had quite a bit of savings. So, yeah. So, it's it's important to to kind of plan your life. No one else cares, cares about you but yourself. I mean, you have friends and stuff. But be smart about your finances, guys. Anyways, I'm going to go buy some gas. Um, this is the first time in five weeks I'm buying gas for the little Chevy Spark. Five weeks later. Now, I'm running low on gas. So... It all adds up in the end, guys. Disposable income is the key to a bright, white future. If you're in your 20s and 30s and you can pay down your debt quick, you can start creating multiple streams of income like I did, I think you could financially be set. I honestly think so. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to support this transmission, share this video.